Hello and welcome to Star Citizen. I love space games and Star Citizen is the epitome of a space game. Well, some might disagree because I feel like Star Citizen has been very polarizing ever since it launched basically. Um, it drew in a lot of hype and it's one of the one of the most, you know, highly funded games probably of all time, I think. Um, at, you know, several hundred million dollars now. And um, I've kind of been on and off of it for a while, and I've kind of gotten back into it recently, and I think now is a good time for me. It may not be a good time for everyone. If you've been playing Star Citizen, um, I recently watched a Morphologist video, and uh, it seems like they are sort of going to be focusing more on their single-player uh, story game, Squadron 42, uh, for the near future. Which, you know, is slightly, you know, slightly upsetting because it's not focusing on the main game and giving us more content and this stuff. We are still getting content here in Star Citizen, um, but, you know, with the changes coming in 317, this is still 316.1, with the changes coming in 317, I got excited about Star Citizen again, and I'm just um, looking to play a little bit. So, here we are, logging in. My homeworld is in Microtech. New Babbage is the city. Because I think it's probably my absolute favorite. It's one of the best cities. It sucks it's so far away from all the other planets, but uh, it's just so incredible just to look at. So this will actually be the first time I'm recording Star Citizen. So uh, hopefully it runs smoothly because um, my computer struggles to just run this game in general. Now, I'm actually up in Port Tressler here, but we can go down and take a look at Microtech because I think that'll give you the best experience here. So, everything, all the buttons are, you know, physicalized, so I can just say, hey, I want to click this button, and the button clicks. It's really, really cool. We're going to go to the lobby here, and if I look down, you can see I've got my body. This is my, my own person. Oh, wow, that was a quick elevator ride. All right. Uh, this is an NPC for sure. <laughs> no person walks like that. Anybody that you see in this game that is a, a human is usually running around somewhere. So we're going to go take one of my favorite ships down to the planet's surface here. So we're going to retrieve, because right now we're actually in a space station. So we're going to take my custom Origin 300i down to the planet surface here and why it's custom is I actually when I when I bought this ship I uh oh there we go origin 300 iPad 2 I paid for some customization options like uh, paint and some interior selections and it was just like you know a little just a couple dollars extra but I was like yeah I want I want like a custom luxury touring ship just for me because they were offering it for the 300 i but not really any other ships uh, so, I did it, and I think it looks sweet, and I will, I will show you my, my beautiful 300i. Alright, so we've arrived here at Pad 2 on Port Tressler. Oh, and just hang on one second, you gotta take a look at this scale, look at how freaking big this place is, and this is a small landing pad, this is the smallest landing pad you can get. There's so much space here for, like, bigger stuff, like, this is where I'd, you know, launch a Freelancer Max, which is a huge ship. I mean... Comparatively, it's not that big compared to like the biggest ships in the game, but for me like the Freelancer Max is my biggest ship But yeah, you can see this is Port Tressler and it's big you can see it from the planet surface Which is really cool and it's uh, tidally locked with the city underneath. So this is my beautiful Origin 300i in a custom Metal flake blue and you can't really get the metal flake here, but once we get into atmosphere like you'll really be able to see the um the metal flicking on this ship and it is uh i think this is a great looking ship and it means a lot to me because you know it's custom and it's like one of the first ships i got when i started playing this game other than like the you know the intro ship so we're gonna go ahead and get in here and this is the interior i opted for the custom blue trim the white seat with the blue origin uh, origin logo here. 
Um, and then they also got the some custom origin bed sheets. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the blue trim on the back here and the blue trim around here. That's um, that's an optional. And then this giant like sun slash moon slash space roof, and it just stretches the whole length of the ship, and it's just beautiful. Um, back here we've got some non-functioning storage, which is you know whatever. I've got a little refrigerator, which is, um, you know, hold stuff, I guess. I don't really have anything to put in there. This is like a little interstellar radio. Um, this is a ice maker, I think. Uh, it's making noises. I'm not sure what this does. Maybe it's like a food preparation sort of thing. It kind of looks like it would be making, like, meals or something. Uh, it's doing something though, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. Gonna power on the ship here. And just like that, we are ready for takeoff, pretty much. Just gotta let the, uh, energy go to the correct places. Now, we're not gonna need a whole lot of power in our weaponry, because we're just flying down to the planet, so let's go ahead and assign that power to our thrusters and other mechanical devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, launch. One second, let me get my bearings here. This is my Origin 300i. Up the landing gear. Yeah, look at this baby. It is a sleek ship here. So let's go ahead and head down to the planet surface. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in cruise control. Open up the map here. Well, we are over here on Microtech. You can see it's so far away from the other planets. But I want to head down to New Babbage, so we'll set that as my destination. Spool up the quantum drive and do a micro jump here just to get a little bit closer to the surface so we don't have to fly 150 kilometers. We'll only have to fly like 90. <laughs> Look at those clouds. Clouds are new on Microtech. Relatively new. Right. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Let me get back in the cockpit here and uh, line us back up. We can unspool our quantum drive because we don't need it spooled anymore. Uh, I believe the spaceport is right below us here. So this is where we will be landing. But I will, I will certainly, I will fly around the city just a little bit first, actually. Show you what it's like. So we're going to go ahead and kind of angle ourselves this way. And we get a little bit of sunlight here, so let me show you this beautiful paint job. There it is, you can see it in the reflection there. Look at that metal flake, it's like glistening, sparkling in the light. It is a, uh, a beautiful ship. Very, very nice. You can see Port Tressler there in the background. That little disc right above my, uh, right above my cockpit there. It's Port Tressler. So we're just coming in gently to this planet surface here, flying through the atmosphere. You can kind of see the. This is uh, New Babbage, is the city name, and it's been split up into all these different districts, because this is a very cold planet, as you can tell, and kind of like the lore behind it is there was a, um, some sort of accident that terraformed this planet into a, an icy, icy, very chilly planet. I mean, it's also quite far from anything else in the solar system. You can see this is the, the solar system here, um, with Microtech being all the way on the fringes, but, um, now this planet is owned basically by this mega corporation called Microtech, and um, what they do is they make like computer 
computers and like they're basically like the apple of this universe essentially um, and all of their design says that <laughs> so when you fly around this place it's very technologically advanced and they use the the coldness of this and the climate of this planet to cool the computer chips that they um, that they or cool the, the supercomputers that they have you know like processing and doing all these different tasks so this is the main tower here in the center this is called the spire and this is like where you spawn if you choose New Babbage as your home planet or I guess Microtech as your home planet New Babbage as uh, your city and you can fly right through the center here so that's what we're doing very first thing I'm no ace pilot but I can ooh, just squeeze through there <laughs> yes awesome So right underneath me here, you'll see, is the tram line, and that goes from the tower here to the the spaceport. Ooh, there was a little a uh, little light post I almost hit there, <laughs> and you can see the different um, effects on my windscreen here. the The moisture from the atmosphere looks incredible on the, uh, the my windscreen here. Um, so let's slow down just a little bit. So I can show you the outside. So we're flying along here, and um, there's actually the commons area, which is the, the the other tram line. So the tram line directly underneath me goes to the habitation area, and this tram line coming in here to my left from this view is going to the commons area, where you can go to the market, you can buy stuff, you can buy food, um, you can buy modules for your ships, you can buy new ships, um, you can do a bunch of different stuff there, and uh, it's all very thoughtfully very very well thought out I should say so we're getting close to the spaceport here I need to contact them to land so I'm gonna go ahead and access my comms here and hail the spaceport and see where they want me to go please proceed to assign landing bay alright so it looks like we're up here I'm gonna turn off my cruise control so I can so I don't accidentally run into the station here which would suck we're going to put down the landing gear. Landing gear and we're going to fly right in here, slow down just a little bit. You can see the gate opening for us here. Start to slow down just a little bit more. And just kind of gently come right in here. It looks tight, but you actually have way more room than you think. If we go into the F4 view, you can see, like, there's actually a good amount of room here. The door is plenty large enough to take my ship in here. So we're just going to go ahead and land. Just like that. Now I can power off my ship. And exit my seat. Go ahead and exit the ship. And now we've landed. We are at New Babbage. And now you can kind of see that uh, the metal flaking on the ship a little bit better now. There's a little bit of snow on there too. You can see on these headlights. The headlights shouldn't have flaking, but that's moisture from the snow we just flew through. Uh, it's still on my ship. Ship's drying off. Um, but yeah, it's um. This is like one of my favorite ships. And uh, I definitely, in the game, I would like to save up and earn a 400i. I think that's like 6 million space credits, um, which will take me a little while to, to farm up, but I certainly want to, to get a 400i, because that is a, another beautiful luxury ship. It just looks like a flying space yacht. Like, it's, um, it's quite incredible. But just for me, just a little old me, I love my 300i, and I'm going to keep it forever. So we have landed here, and we can go head into the New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. So 
So this is the spaceport here. We can look out at this window and everything out there is real. So if someone were to fly a ship right by here right now, you would be able to see them and see it, which is really cool. You can see the city and the spire. Um, these are all NPCs. They just kind of dawdle about and sometimes uh, act strangely. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Speaking of act strangely, uh, that's not typical for them to stand on the opposite side of the safety railing here. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so you can look out here and look at the city. Yeah, if, if anyone was flying a spaceship out here, you'd be able to see them. And that's really neat. And if someone flew right up to this window, I was actually flying last night and I was hoping someone would walk by because I was in my, my Asperia Talon Shrike, which is a really neat uh, ship. And I, I flew it up to the glass here because it's kind of intimidating looking. It looks like a, uh, a bird of prey, but it's very like alien because it's from an alien race. Um, but I was flying it right up to the window hoping someone would like be in there looking out like, oh my gosh, look at this dude. <laughs> Um, so it's just little, like, this isn't actually, like, real or anything. Oh, I'm being pushed. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I guess it's important to him. Um, you can buy a, uh, Pico the Penguin. Either on a snowboard or not. Kinda love that guy. Buy some snacks. You can buy a drink. And, um, like, like, all this is buyable and you can put it in your inventory and you carry it around with you or you can drink it right away because your person needs food and water. Oh shoot, um, I forgot to store my ship, uh, that's something I meant to do, because it's right here, uh, I think he's taking care of it, let me just, let me just get that real quick, oh, uh, okay, <laughs> he's, he's, he's already done it, apparently, alright, sorry about that, buddy, it's stored, so, it's good, we're here. But you can see um, I've got an Aegis Gladius, which is a, a light fighter, Anvil Arrow, which is another light fighter, the Asperia Talon Shrike, which is like a missile missile ship, um, the Freelancer Max, which is a big freighter ship, the 300i, and then the Starter Aurora MR. So those are ships I have actually purchased with, with money or upgraded from or however I got them just over the years. Um, you can also rent some ships in different places. So if we go over to the ship rental kiosk, you can see they offer a number of ships here. Um, interesting. So there's an Aegis Avenger Warlock Combat Interceptor. <laughs> oh jeez. Some of these aren't uh, models aren't loading. Great dis um, demonstration here of the uh, of the game here. So this is the Origin 85X. This is a exploration luxury ship apparently. Um, I'm interested in checking this one out because it looks like a... I, I like the Origin ships a lot, and I was actually very highly contemplating getting in an Origin, like, coffee mug from their, from their store online. <laughs> so I could be, like, the, the Origin guy. Whoa, that looks funky. Um, yeah, some of these models aren't... Are, are taking a moment to load in, which is fine. You know, not a big deal. But, like, the, the idea is you can rent these ships. Um, so even if, you know, you can't pay the, the six million to buy a, cons you know, Constellation Andromeda or Constellation Phoenix, whatever, you can rent it. Oof, like a 30-day rental is like a million space grids. <laughs> AUEC. Constellation Phoenix is a really cool ship, though. I'd love to, to take a look at that one, as well as the Andromeda. So today, I would like to do a little bit of contracts and I would like to start my bounty hunter yeah the tracker training permit certification certification 500 AUEC but that'll let me do some bounties here so if I open that yep now we've got the I've got to go apprehend Kenny Leone and I don't think this needs me to have a weapon so, I guess we'll see. I'm gonna take out the uh, Esperia Talon Shrike, give that a try. Missile ship does lots of big missile damage. So, pretty excited about that. Hangar 4. Alright, look at this baby. This is the Esperia Talon Shrike. Look at this crazy design, like the colors on it. And it's actually like a uh, pearlescent green and purple. Yeah, it looks like a bird. You see, like, the beak. All the Asperia ships are very, like, avian-themed. 
which is cool. So this is the Shrike variant. There's the Asperia Talon and then the Talon Shrike. This is the Shrike, and it carries a bunch of missiles. Way too many missiles. It's got like 24 missiles. But in exchange, it has smaller guns. So this is a, a size 1. It's got two size 1 guns, which are size 2 hard points, but they're on gimbals. So gimbals downgrade your gun size. So you're doing slightly less damage. But it's not about a, not about the guns with this ship. It's about the missiles. And I like missiles. So, the pilot seat. We'll see it opens up. And the ship makes a lot of cool noises. So I'm going to stop talking and let you listen. Now we're in the cockpit here, and we can't see anything. <laughs> it's a, a little bit of a problem, but we can fix that real quick here, just by readying up the ship. Systems activating. Systems on. Is that not awesome? It's like a holo- like, it's like looking at the outside of the ship. Like, there's no windows, but like, the windows are- you know this it's just it's so cool it's so cool all right so let's get out of here comms open up comms you are clear to launch all right yep you can let us out do we take a look at the ship here we'll actually go into vtol mode that is with the wings smaller so we don't clip anything you can take a look at this beautiful ship here so we'll take off and i'll put away the landing gear Folds up into the wing. And look at these accents. It really does look like a bird of prey. And it is a fast ship. It is no slouch. Okay, we can get out of VTOL mode. Extend out those wings. And just take a look at her. It's a very cool looking ship. Compared to some other ships, it's not the most practical. There are better fighters. Um... Statistically speaking and uh, hardware speaking, but this one is mine, so I like it very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting up into the out of the atmosphere here while we take a look at our objective. So we need to go to another place on Microtech and take care of Mr. Kenny here. Now I believe this is an in atmosphere encounter. So how this is gonna work? is we will encounter him and fight him on the planet's atmosphere. Usually, the bounty missions in the past have been all in space, and you'd fly to different locations in space, and it had to be from Hurston. You couldn't do it from any other planet, but now it seems you can do it from any other planet and live out your bounty hunter dreams anywhere in the solar system. We're going to spill up the quantum drive and do a quick jump over to his location. Uh, there we go. Do a little orbital maneuver here. So I'm really hoping that he is not inside this Shubin mining facility because I did not actually bring any guns with me. Um, so if I didn't bring any guns then we might have a slight issue. Um, but we will see. There right, we go. Now we've got the, the missiles armed and ready. We will go see. 
if we can find Mr. Kenny Leone, but I did not bring a gun. I should have gone and purchased a gun, so I might need to head up to Port Tressler and buy some weaponry. Because I said he was at Shubin Mining Facility, so I don't know if he's in there or around there. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done this mission before, so a bit of a learning experience. I'm also slightly low on hydrogen fuel. I was flying around and I forgot to refuel the ship. Radar lock. Okay, yep. Yeah, we're in atmosphere. Missile coming in. Basic maneuvers. Where's the radar lock? I'm not seeing him. Contact. We're in contact. Missile's firing. Oh, shoot. So here he is. Any shields hit. Lock him up. Too close. Is there someone else here? Is there another player here? Excuse me. No, there's not. Okay. Um, shoot. Yeah, we're having some troubles here. Go down low. I need some distance from these guys. I'm going down. Missiles. Contact. All right, where's he at? Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. We're still too close. Yeah, I'm still too close. Okay, so we've got a slight issue here. Um. I cannot get out of range of these guys. Can I hit Mr. Kenny Leon here? How my shield's doing? Decent. Yeah. Um, this is going interesting. I did not realize I'd have issues with my, with my missiles here. Let me get out of missile mode and just start shooting. So I am gimbaled, so I can switch into gimbal mode and start getting some hits on these guys. These are like size one weapons. Not ideal for this. Alright, we're going down. Major torque imbalance. That sounds good. Yeah, we're uh, we're looking dire here. We're looking dire. Get the missiles rearmed just in case I can do something. Far enough now. All right, she misses. Missile, missile hit. Shooting missiles. Target destroyed. Target eliminated. Excellent. All right, is Kenny gonna get far enough away? We're flying backwards right now. Best we can. Can we target Mr. Kenny here? Oh, I can queue up multiple missiles. That's cool. Uh, I think I might still be too close. Fire it on you. How does it feel? 50%. Missiles aren't uh, I'm doing it right now. Uh, maybe because I need to target him. There we go. Come on, target. Target Kenny. He's moving away from me. I need to get within targeting range. Which I'm not sure what it is. Target him. Target him. Target him. Come on. Kenny is targeted. Missile lock. 
you up three missiles. Firing. Hit. Destroyed. Whew. Oh my gosh. We did it. Missiles are great. <laughs> I love the missiles. It was a little little stressful, but um but I think we figured it out. Okay, let's go take a breather real quick. Seems we've got a little bit of a landing gear down. Sunset here. Oh my goodness, we gotta take a look at this. Alright. Let's go land. A little chilly out here. But look at that view. Oh, I just realized something. I hope my ship does not blow away. That would suck. Because that can't happen. <laughs> Let's take a look at this beauty. Great job. That was a, a tricky dogfight. I um, need to work on my piloting a bit here. But, um... Look at that view, and like the effects on my helmet, very cool. I'm gonna get back inside, because it's loud and cold. Close the door, there we go. I can hear again. I still am having the, the missile warning and the major torque imbalance. Um, I don't think we're actually in any danger anymore. But look at this place. This is just like incredible looking. head back out of atmosphere here and probably head back up to Port Tressler so I can arm myself aptly <laughs> for our next bounty hunting mission and also refuel and rearm I need more missiles I need more fuel I need more guns I need it all Hail Port Tressler here. Get ready to make a landing. Always turn off the... Always turn off your cruise control. I did contact AETC. Let me try again. Sometimes they need a second ring. Send you to voicemail the first time. To there we go. Now you listen to me. Oh, we've got some uh, ships out here. Got a couple, couple ships here. We've got a uh, the UEE Navy. Uh, somebody up here doing something. Let's see. Target status. I think those are just more UEE Navy. There's someone out that way. Microtech Protection Services. What is going on out here? Someone getting like uh, ganked or something? <laughs> yeah, something's going on, but does not concern us. So I'm gonna actually hit Alt T to unlock my target, prevent any accidents. Landing gear is deployed. VTOL mode engaged. Come on down here. We're nice and easy. And we have landed. So let me take a look at my Moby Glass here. Let's do some vehicle maintenance. We need restocked. Um, 
Oof, those missiles are expensive. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh wait, no, I think I need to be in the ship when it's um getting restocked. But we can always do that next time. Alright, I want to thank you all so much for watching. This has been Star Citizen, and I hope to make some more videos on this game. It's just such a cool game, and it's, you know, it's had a lot of mixed reviews and criticism lately, but it's, you know, they've accomplished a lot, honestly, right now. And, you know, I'm not giving them any passes. They could have definitely managed uh, things a bit better, I feel, with um, deadlines and just like I think being honest and straightforward and not over promising and under delivering you gotta under promise and then over deliver which is you know it's really hard to do but when you do get into that mindset I think it helps out quite a bit oh look at you can see the missiles the missiles have loaded right there oh my gosh those things are huge look at these things that's so cool size 3 missiles absolutely huge all right this has been Star Citizen, this is the Asperia Talon Shrike. It's not the most practical fighter, but I love it. And that's what matters the most. We play games to have fun. And to just enjoy and experience this world um, is a joy in itself. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Look forward to a couple more videos on Star Citizen. And I hope you all have a great day.